Dear readers, welcome to our channel. Embarking on a journey into the unexplored realms of technology, Huawei's European Research Institute emerges like a storm, outlining a vibrant canvas of technological innovation. Situated in Dusseldorf, Germany, this technological fortress has been brewing what kind of research outcomes? Is it the prelude to a technological revolution or merely the overture to a grand plan? Early on, we heard about a team at Huawei's European Research Institute dedicated to studying automobiles. Initially, we wondered if Huawei was considering entering the next generation of automotive research, preparing a slew of questions about the future of automobiles for discussion. However, upon closer inspection at the European Research Facility, we discovered that Huawei has no intention of entering the competitive automotive industry, nor does it have any communication solutions for the next generation of automobiles. The reason for researching the automotive industry lies in the profound expertise it found in fundamental technical areas such as mechanics, tools, and sensors, surpassing the telecommunications industry. If these insights can be comprehended and applied to the telecommunications industry successfully, it will undoubtedly enhance the quality of communication products. This reveals Huawei's 2012 lab positioning, extending beyond the confines of telecommunications technology research, venturing into cross-industry innovation and learning. Internally at Huawei, the most mysterious organizational structure is Huawei's 2012 lab, founded by Rin Zhengfei in 2011, with its predecessor established in 1996 as the Huawei Central Research Institute. Huawei's 2012 lab is the central research organization, and most of Huawei's R&D expenses are invested in the core-led R&D system with Huawei's 2012 lab at its center. Within Huawei, there are also other organizational structures, such as Huawei University and the Huawei Strategic Research Institute, each undertaking some differentiated R&D tasks to varying degrees. Since its establishment in 1987, how much has Huawei invested in total R&D? From a single-year R&D expenditure exceeding 10 billion in 2008 to 2020, R&D expenditure of 141.9 billion, the cumulative R&D investment over 13 years is close to 770 billion yuan, 769.8 billion yuan. According to Huawei's disclosed financial report data for the first quarter of 2021, R&D investment for a single quarter is 30. 75 billion yuan, compared to 27.367 billion yuan in the same period last year. This implies that from 2008 to the first quarter of 2021, Huawei's total R&D investment has exceeded 800 billion yuan. If we add the R&D investment from 1987 to 2007, the total R&D investment since Huawei's establishment might be approaching around 900 billion yuan, not far from the 1 trillion yuan mark. Despite the recent decline in revenue in the latest quarter under various pressures, Huawei's R&D investment has grown against the trend. This clearly shows that Rin Zhengfei, who firmly believes in the primacy of science and technology as the primary productive force, is extremely dedicated and bold when it comes to R&D investment. The combined R&D investment of the top two internet technology giants in our domestic market, Tencent and Alibaba, probably falls far short of Huawei. In recent years, Xiaomi, which has rapidly risen and astonished the world, had an R&D investment of about 9.7 billion in 2020, only about one-fifteenth of Huawei's R&D investment in 2020. What are all these R&D investments being used for? What hardcore research results has Huawei's 2012 lab produced? Under Huawei's 2012 lab, there are six major departments, the Central Research Institute, the Central Hardware Engineering Institute, the Central Software Institute, the NOAA's ARC Laboratory, High Silicon Semiconductor, and the R&D Capability Center. In China, Huawei has a total of eight research institutes. The ninth research institute seems to be under construction, overseas, Huawei also has eight research institutes. The 2012 lab is a super huge organization, with branches such as Shannon Lab, Gauss Lab, Shield Lab, Watt Lab, Euler Lab, Self Developed Operating System, Turing Lab, Heat Technology Lab, and Structural Materials Lab. 
The last two labs have already been opened to media personnel from around the world. On June 14, 2023, news came out that after the European Union EU banned Huawei from participating in its 5G infrastructure projects due to security issues, the EU is reportedly seeking significant help from this Chinese company by investing heavily in its next-generation communication technology. According to the Financial Times, Huawei is participating in a part of the EU's flagship research and innovation program, Horizon Europe, which includes 11 projects covering technologies such as artificial intelligence, 6G, cloud computing, quantum sensing, connectivity, and autonomous driving frameworks. According to the Financial Times, Huawei has received approximately 4 million euros, IT home note, currently approximately 30.92 million yuan, in funding, accounting for about 14%. All of these projects are highly sensitive, and considering Huawei's previous ban due to security issues, this participation has attracted considerable attention. Huawei's European headquarters is located in Dusseldorf, Germany, and currently has established 18 R&D centers in Europe. These R&D centers are responsible for scientific research projects based on the specialties of the respective countries, specifically as follows. 1. France, standard patents, algorithms, aesthetics, graphics chip design. 2. Germany, energy technology, 5G, hardware and engineering, engineering test center, network security, standard patents. 3. UK, optoelectronics, Internet of Things, wireless chipsets, CPU cores, 4. Italy, microwaves, 5. Ireland, business support systems, operations support. Systems, 6. Sweden, wireless systems, wireless base stations, terminal chipset design, 7. Belgium, silicon photonics, radio frequency integrated circuits, application software architecture, 8. Finland, terminal operating systems, security capability centers, IN conclusion, let me summarize for our readers, hoping you've gained insights and thoughts. In this exploration of Huawei's European Research Institute, we not only peek into the core R&D institution of a tech giant but also delve into the fascinating fusion of technology with the automotive industry. Huawei's 2012 lab is not just a leader in communication technology but also a trailblazer in exploring fields such as mechanics, tools, and sensors. This tells us that the boundaries of technology are not limited to a single field but showcase even more robust innovation in cross-disciplinary fusion. The inspiration here is that pursuing excellence requires relentless commitment and innovation. Huawei's extensive investment in research and development over the years is the driving force behind its continuous breakthroughs. In the midst of technological competition, only by upholding the belief that science and technology are the primary productive forces can one stand undefeated in the ever-changing market. Especially under international pressure, Huawei's perseverance becomes even more precious. We should draw courage from this and understand the importance of sticking to technological innovation and independent research and development. At the same time, Huawei's participation in the European Union research program also conveys a message of international cooperation and mutual innovation. In the era of globalization, facing challenges together and sharing technological achievements may be the gateway to a better future. That's it for today's video. Stay tuned for the exciting content in the next episode. Goodbye. Goodbye.